So today it is the Helios 77M that I'm playing with. This is the lesser known 50mm 1.8 version. 44 is the classic, that's the 58mm F2. Uh, Helios is all about the swirls, and in looking at the samples, I find this is the swirlier lens of the two. Kind of interesting, focus peaking really only works in the middle on this one. So the focus ring on this one is more than 180 degrees. Nice minimum focus distance. Swirly, twisty background. I find it's less noticeable when it's all the way blurred out and more when it's kind of subtle, like around that. So not for like super close-up flower pictures, but for medium portrait style shots. Yeah, like that, three meters away or so. Unlike the other two, I've already done a few tests with this one. So I'm already kind of familiar with how it performs. And it's quite sharp. I think I lucked out and got a good one. One of the things I really like about this lens and also the Canon FD is uh, the way the out-of-focus areas have like a nice circular soap bubble ring around the outside edge. Ideally, I like when a lens has nothing at all, just a smooth circle. But um, the Pentax in my Nikon 1.8D, it's a very uh, obnoxious semicircle sort of ring. It really draws attention to itself, where I find these are just prettier. One area where the Helios is the most unique is the way it handles lens flare. Uh, it's a lot more prominent, but I find a lot more beautiful than the other lenses. With the other lenses, uh, sometimes the lens flare seems like an intrusion on the image, where with this one, it, it just looks cool. One of the things I really like about uh, cat's eye effect or swirly lenses is how it really forces you to get it right in camera. If I crop or edit this in post, it's gonna show. So these uh, swirly lenses with the cat's eyes are kind of like a nice flex of like, yeah, I got this right in camera. I've already done a fair bit of shooting with this um, and testing it on the computer already, so I don't have to uh, have a message from future Kyle. This is a surprisingly sharp lens. Great contrast. It's not very smeary up close. Purple and green fringing on high contrast areas at least isn't turning up in the viewfinder. So the biggest knock I can really give against the Helios is its uh, six-bladed aperture. Why? Why do people think six blades are a good idea? It just looks so damn ugly. Your aperture blade should always be an odd number. Well, that's embarrassing. I just recorded a long segment and was in photo mode the whole time. <clears throat> I think the Helios will end up being the vintage lens that I take out the most often and have the most use for. It's just that nice, unique, swirly look that I can't get anywhere else.